Yo. Yo. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you came here for? So just chop shit up and keep going back, bro. What's good, YouTube? What's the word? It's your boy, Nick Edso, and we back on another video. Before y'all start this video and before all this shit happens, I'm just here to explain what's going down real quick. So, uh, if you don't know the little beef me and this kid had going on for me, we gonna set some argument with some internet. And man, shit for me, we gonna talk about that later in the video. And it led to something else. And now we coming back to just talking again for me. It's gonna be a little crazy video. It's gonna be mixy. Before this video starts, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Y'all don't wanna miss none of this for me. I'm actually about to call him right now and see where he's at. And now we're just gonna get straight into the video, I ain't gonna lie. Give me a second. Yo. Yo. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna pick up Dumbin first and then bring him to my thing or what yeah. we doing? Yeah, I'm gonna pick him up right now. I'll call him though. Alright. Alright. I'm outside then. Alright. What are you doing? Going to side? I don't know. I think he's going to side. I don't know what he wants to do. I'm tired. I ain't got no sleep. How's it been, D-Bands? You like a, a dad right now, bro? Nah, man. I need a cut. Any time. D-Bands. <laughs> so what you came here for? What you came for? So just chop shit up and be going back, bro. It's from Finally grew up, huh? You finally grew up, bro. Nah, I ain't grew up. I mean, I'm still the same as with a different mentality. No cap. All right, so I know it's weird for y'all to see this new car together for me. We already chopped it up and text a little bit. But I think it's gonna, this is gonna start right here. We're just gonna keep it real, keep it uncut. We're gonna say everything we gotta say. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm gonna say the reason why I came here to talk to you. And now you can, for me, you pick up whatever you want. I did, did, did. So obviously, yeah. Me and you guys were fight and we was beefing over some book, but we had already talked over the situation. And, like, we got the air clean about that. From you did that foul, sh yeah, you already put it on the internet that you joined me this, this, that, whatever, whatever. From me, we talked it out. I'm be looking past it, we going up. Like, for me, we don't need to hold that, we don't need to hold grudges. Violence is never the answer. All that for me, we already talked about that. Shit. My point for coming here to talk to you is just to. Just to be on a, a grown level, move a different way to just answer because I don't I, I don't want to be beef with somebody for the rest of my life, especially somebody that I consider a friend at first for me. Cause I'm not gonna lie, AJ, me and you was like this, bro. Me, you dumb as DNA, but we was we was like this for me. We come from the same hood, we come from the same type of upbringing. We both come from nothing for me. We just trying we trying to be better. We trying to put a better image for these kids that's watching us. Cause you know a lot of these people that watch us as kids for me, they they look up to us. They they want to see how other people move and we got to show them that we could grow from a situation that you know what we could have we could afford we could have done this we could have done that but you know what we're gonna come together as grown men we're gonna sit down we're gonna hear each other out and then we're gonna walk away with what we walk away with Big and fact. just be a better a better example for the net because i'm sorry on my fault on my part guys i'm sorry for not being that good of an example i know a lot of y'all look up to me like i said and i just want to be a, a good leader for y'all and just let y'all know that y'all could grow up and y'all don't have to carry shit none of that everybody can grow up and everybody could change i mean just it all just takes time and patience you got to think about what you do before you do it for real because that's what we mess up from when we young i'm 19 he's 18 we young stupid i'm gonna give my perspective i actually i'm gonna tell you shit how it is bro i'm actually proud because i ain't gonna lie i'm pushing i'm pushing each other i'm not the type to hit somebody up about da da, so I actually give I get I give him like the title for like reaching out for me. I ain't gonna lie, for me, we was both friends and sense. You feel me? Whatever happened in the past, after his situation, like it taught me a lot. I grew like my mindset just grew bigger and stuff like that. Like it, like like it's crazy. Like I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, man. This could have been avoided. In many ways, it could have been avoided through a phone call, through a text. Everything. It's just big facts. When we grown, when we when we when you in the situation we in, we young. We just off that we high heads. For me, 
<clears throat> it's where we come from too. Like we come, we don't come from that much debt. <clears throat> We see a lot of bullshit. We see a lot of drama. It just, it just resonates with us. But we trying to fix that for me. Oh God, I, I, like, I ain't gonna lie. I did speak to my people. I spoke to all my people before I like, like, cause I, at first once I saw him hit me up, I, I saw him at a party. I saw him at a party. I was with my people, whatever. Right. I looked at him. And he looked at me back. I'm like, right, cool. I ain't worried. He was with his people. I was with my people. I, I just let it be. Do like what? Like, on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. It, it was Sunday, right? It's Monday now. It was, it was too late now, right? <coughs> so you hit me up Monday, right? Yeah, you hit me up Monday. So I'm like, boom. I'm like, that's when I called these men. I'm like, yo, bro, da da. Like, you think it's a setup or what he on? Like, no, nah, I would think that shit too for me, cause I, you know how people be moving out here for me. It's, it's I'm just, I'm just on some different shit, but I ain't gonna lie. Like, I took a lot of time to sit back from the wall and like, just put your feelings to the side. My feelings to the side, cause you know what? I done fell out with some of my best friends over some shit. I done seen a lot of situations. I don't talk to a lot of people. Like, if you don't know me and him, you can go to the same barber. Like, that's how small this town is for me. Like, I'll be talking to him. Hey, you took my barber now. Nah, he got it, though. He got it. For me, nah, but like, nah. I be chopping up with him too. He's like, yo, like, y'all gotta understand the image that y'all uphold. The image that a lot of people look up to us, and we don't, we don't realize that. Like, for me, we just see this shit as a game. It's like, for me, it's fun for me. But in reality. A lot of people could, could learn from our situation and a lot of people could just see this and grow up and it'll be like, ah, you know what? Me and this kid would be from, you know what? Maybe we can grow up from this shit too. Maybe I could talk to him. Me and my brother don't talk no more over some bullshit. I could talk to you because you know what? Little shit doesn't matter. If you care about somebody and you somebody out of past, for me, y'all both young, just be a bigger person, bro. Just come and just talk it out for me. We talk, like I said, we talk a little bit on message. That's why we not for me. I know, but we already know what the situation is. But I really was thinking, like, yo, like, me and this kid, we was close. We beefed over some that we could have solved it like this, bro, and we could have really deaded that. Big facts. And this is like, I don't want to keep shit going on bad. Like, I don't want to keep the bad, the bad energy for me. Like, I can't even do a TikTok with my man to be bands, yo. I can't even like link up with somebody else in the city. I can't. People want to talk. Yeah, because it's like. It's, it's mixy. It, there's no need for none of that. We could all grow. We could all just be our own people. This don't mean that me and AJ is going to be old. Buddy, buddy. But it's friends. Now it's that we came to terms. You know what? We both adults. We both know what we did wrong. <laughs> for me. I'm going to explain a little. Like I said, I'm, let me explain this shit too. Why, why me and AJ really fought. One of my old friends that I'm not friends with for another reason for me. He told AJ I was going to jump him over a situation. Like he had put me on a blind date with a 16 year old. I mean, I was 18 at the time. It's not that bad. Like two years is not a big difference. But it, it wasn't it wasn't for my image that I wanted to uphold. And AJ saw it as a joke and he was gonna post the video. So I told him, I told my man, yo, we're gonna pull up, we're gonna make him delete the video. We ain't see we're gonna beat him up, we didn't say none of that. But months later after after the situation, he wanna come running back to AJ saying I was gonna jump him. Got my perspective, right? Boom. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even know my people were gonna come in. So boom, right? I'm with my man, so you feel me? I'm not about speaking to the game related shit, cause I don't like speaking about that, I don't like politics about that. But my man, you feel me, like, he do his thing, you feel me? Which is not me, you feel me, but these are my people I grew up with since I was little, play football, did all that extra shit, right? Boom, bow. So, my man was with me, thought I'm like, yo, thought I was thinking about pull up. Mind you, I live in the hood already, you feel me? I'm like, yo, come back me up, cause I don't know this nigga pulling up deep, cause he always be with be smoking, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm like, just pull up, just to back me up, just in case. And then boom, after me and him got the ones, right? I go on live trying to be funny, you feel me? Child this shit, child this shit, I ain't gonna lie. Me being funny, thought I for me, it was corny. I ain't gonna lie, that shit all could have been a boy. <laughs> we could have fought in peace and then just kept going through our day, for me? And just be grown people and, and ended it. I ain't gonna lie, it's like what, three months later? Two months later? Yeah, like two months. This shit happened in August, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But that shit all could have been a boy, like I'm saying. But my people came, for me? That jumping shit, you could consider it jumping, cause I, I, I probably know how you feel, you feel me? They hit you, thought I. But I promise you, I ain't not touch you while they was hitting me. And that's what of my day. Like, <clears throat> I ain't touch them. I ain't know that shit was gonna happen. I did an explanation video about it. I'm gonna take that shit down. Cause I'm gonna be respectful to him. You feel me? If y'all wanna see us sit working together, that's on y'all. If y'all don't, then it's cool, you feel me? 
we just came here to solve the problem and I don't want to be beefing with nobody no more. I'm just trying to be peaceful with everybody. And, and we really trying to make, we trying, we really trying to prove to y'all that we can make this shit something bigger than it is. Literally. I'm not going to lie, where we come from, we come, from, no, we, we come from the mud for me. Like, yo, everybody in this town looks up to us. Like, a lot of, for me, they, they see everything that we do. Literally, that shit ain't cool. I ain't going to lie. It's not, I, bro. I, I, don't, I don't like fighting, bro. Like, like, you feel me? Like, I like playing aggressive shit, like sports and shit like that, but... There's no reason why you should be fighting, especially like. And violence only leads to two ways. And, bro, they, and me and AJ, if, like for me, if we wasn't thinking, we if we had our all our screws in. There's only two ways that violence can lead: death or jail. That's or that's jail. the only two, two ways that violence can lead. And you know what? As a brother, for me, like I I, I did consider AJ a brother before all this, this this drama. For me, he was my brother. For me, he was coming up. We was getting out the mud together. So I didn't want to see you in that position. I don't. I want to see you hurt. I don't want to see you in jail. I don't want to see myself hurt. I don't want to see myself in jail. So it's just all about just growing up and just moving on. I feel like we really we really addressed <coughs> everything that's going on. I know we probably just talking a lot of bullshit to y'all. Y'all really don't understand. We just it's trying, the real shit, We're just trying to hear each other out from you. Like we, like I said, we messaged already. We got my buddy Dee Benz here, man. He had nothing to do with it. You got Dee Benz. Yeah, let me explain something to y'all. Dee Benz, how you feel about this? Let me explain something to y'all too. Because not everything involves social media. I need you guys to understand that not everything involves social media. Our personal lives doesn't affect on social media. When, when we do for social media, we do for content purposes. We, make y'all happy. We like to make to entertain you guys. We like to make you guys happy and what you guys want to see. You feel what I'm saying? And it's just not necessarily for beefing, killing each other, fighting. And I've talked to AJ, what AJ did right after that. You feel me? I talked to him. I was like, yo, bro, that's wrong. Like, you feel me? Like, he wanted to handle the situation mature in that situation. So I definitely, definitely recommend you guys to really understand where we're coming from. You feel what I'm saying? It's not necessarily for just, you know, oh, this is just, they want to just go back together. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody makes mistakes. Not everybody's perfect. And we learn from our mistakes. You feel me? And that's how we better ourselves as people. You feel what I'm saying? I'm grown. You know what I'm saying? I've been through it all. I know what it's like to really just hold grudges and, and, and use it against for the rest of your life. You feel me? Because it's like, at the end of the day, you know, one day you might say, yo, you hate this dude. And the next day you don't see him ever again. You feel me? And then you're going to regret that and hold that grudge and be like, damn, bro. I should have at least talked to him. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you feel me? You only live once. You feel me? And you got to enjoy the moment and live that life. You feel me? And just hold that and bring that legacy with you. You feel me? So I, I, I'm giving props to him. You feel what I'm saying? He's being grown. You can definitely see he's being grown because a grown person, you feel me? This is what a grown person does. This is a grown man move. Oh, on can, I, can I speak on something real yeah, quick? Yeah, go ahead. And by the way, this shit now to make him so. This, this is actually gonna make him a bigger person. Cause I know how y'all people be. Oh, he pussy for doing that. He pussy for doing. No, bro. In life, you gotta learn how to go. Once y'all get older, y'all about to understand the value of life, bro. Like, like it's not good holding grudges. Like, how about let's say, let's say, boom. God forbid, Nick dies right tomorrow. That shit gonna be on me. I'm gonna be like, damn, I just did this. I couldn't even say sorry to him. Now that shit on me, you feel me? So thank God this shit happened for me. And, and it, it ain't happened because of me, it happened because of him. But I actually yeah, appreciate man, man. I actually appreciate how you came up to me, you feel me? Even though I know I did wrong, but I respect what you did, you feel me? That shows me that he ain't he ain't scared to be around, you feel me? But like I said, man, this shit actually make him a better person. Hopefully we could keep, you feel me? giving content for y'all and stuff like that even though that's not what i really care about i care about how our friendship used to be the point is that in life y'all gotta mature and if y'all beefing with somebody text them right now man tell them that oh i'm sorry can we fix shit that da. because da. i ain't gonna lie people are gonna be like oh but wasn't you just beefing with this person wasn't you just um talking shit about this person right. da, da. Ooh, people gonna talk no matter what Greatest, hey, bro, saying. niggas gonna talk no matter what. Niggas is grown. I, I already know once I go to school. Oh, you cool with him? Thought, nigga, mind your business, bro, and keep it pushing. That's that's what I'm exactly what I'm gonna say. And if you watch it, <laughs> congratulations. Bro, I'm just trying to run it up for y'all. I'm trying to enjoy myself. I don't want to have beef on this shit. Like I said, I want everybody to be good. It's big at two again. Big so heavy game. Big D Benzers. Big like I said, Benzers. And we just gonna be out of here, guys. Like I said. No need for drama. Keep it clean. Keep it positive. Oh God. Positive is the key to everything. I ain't gonna lie. The Benz, I appreciate you for being here, my brother. God, bro. Like I said, AJ. My fault. My fault. We cool now for me. Oh God. Yeah, this shit out, guys.
And I know y'all gonna be going crazy in the comments. I'm gonna read all of them. So for me, make sure you comment something. If y'all in like enjoying this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Y'all be out of here. Spread positivity. Not okay. negativity.